Greetings fellow fig lovers, Lance here. And uh, this video is a follow-up to a post I did a little while back on using the fig pop method of rooting cuttings and actually a few other miscellaneous things including yet another method that I'm trialing now which uh, Brian Melton did a couple videos on so let's just jump right into it so this here is my first rack of the season where I started my cuttings and as you can see I have two LED lights these are full spectrum and I'm really liking these lights uh, they're quiet they have no fan which can actually be a problem but hasn't been a problem so far uh, I have not had a heat problem with these yet of course the the top is open so it can breathe the mylar that I put up around the rack to reflect the light back in and actually maintain some of the heat does keep it fairly warm in here and it seems to be a fairly ideal temperature but this is the fig pop method that uh, I started using this year and it has proven to be very successful these are all up potted I actually up pot fairly quickly as soon as I get any indication of roots I actually up pot and maybe it's a little maybe I'm just a little fearful of of rot since these don't breathe um, it just seems more natural to get them into the pots as soon as possible and as you can see these these are growing in fact I do not fertilize these yet and yet I'm not sure how well this is showing up on the video they're green there's lots of good green here this one's a little light that's a fairly new leaf um, but I've been very happy with this process um, I have not had fungus net problems for the first time this year um, there are very few gnats on here and th this has been up here you know all season there's there's hardly any gnats um, that's another reason why I use the perlite here it seems to help with the fungus gnats I think sand might actually work better but since I had the perlite that's what I used and it seems to be helping a lot but uh, I have an extremely high success rate with the fig pot me pop method and I was uh, really gung-ho on doing this moving forward but uh, Brian Melton just did a couple videos on his method and, and I'll get to that here in a bit and you can see I got some seeds started for our garden this year too but let's take a look at one of the other racks we have so it's going to be a little bit noisy over here uh, again I, I have the the same light over here but on the bottom I have a couple of my older plant lights that do have fans in them so a little noisy got a few more gnats over here I'm not sure how well the video works with this uh, type of lighting but uh, you, you can see I got some bigger containers here these were winterized outside and I decided to bring them in to get a head start on them this year and actually um, this cavalier I took an air layer off of it which is that, that back there because it, it was going to get too tall and I'm just going to let that come back up from the roots and the air layer 
doing great so um, a lot of these fig pops are at different stages I have different size bags like I, I got some really large bags here but I really like this I really like this method and again the mylar reflects everything back the the sun back the sun reflects the light back really nicely um, but the the success rate has just been phenomenal on the fig pop method in fact I got a lot of my cuttings from two fairly large orders and they took about three to four weeks to get here with USPS having so many problems and they were actually kind of dried out and I was really concerned my success rate was going to be horrible the the opposite has proven to be true um, it, the success rates just been great I've been really happy with it I've been doing different uh, soil mixtures and I've actually gotten to the point where with the fig pop I put three inches of perlite uh, maybe I got one here this isn't one of them but I put three inches of perlite in the bottom before I even start filling up with soil mixture and my latest mixture is actually almost 100% perlite and just a little bit of peat moss some pro mix whatever just a little bit not much at all and that seems to be working really nicely uh, some of my initial fig pops are a little bit heavier with uh, the pro mix and they they don't seem to do quite as well as the heavy perlite and I keep the moisture pretty low just enough to, to where I start seeing water beat up out here in fact this one might be a little heavy um, let's see here what else do I want to cover here well let's get to uh, Brian Melton's process for for rooting cuttings so Brian Melton's done a couple of videos and I call it his process, but it's not really entirely original. I, I've seen the process before, but this is actually the first time I've tried it. And this is brand new, so th there's, no, uh, there's no development yet. I just did these the other day. And this is just sphagnum peat moss. And I'm not gonna go into this a whole lot because uh, he's already done some good videos. Um, take a look at the show notes in the link below. And I'll reference those videos and such. But I actually have very high hopes for this. Because it's very simple. It doesn't take up a lot of space until they're up potted. And I'm just really excited about trying this out. Seeing how it works. So take a look at the uh, link in the show notes kind of covering a lot of this and we'll we'll revisit this in another month or so and see how this works out